Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Dumb Laws from the Grave. Today, we're heading over there. That East Coast, once again, we're doing South Carolina. We're wrapping up the Carolinas this time. Let's see what they got. All right, everybody, we're going to get right into this. This is South Carolina, and the first law is an exception to the above law is that light bulbs may be sold. The thing that confuses the hell out of me with this is that there is no above law. That's the first law. We're going to go ahead and jump into this, and uh, we're going to check this out real quick and see if maybe it explains a little more about what the hell it is. Hey. An exception to the above law that light bulbs may be sold. Yeah. Sundays, holidays, and other special days. Chapter 1. Section 53-1-50. Exceptions to prohibition on Sunday work. Okay. So this is uh, prohibitions about... We see a lot of that, actually. I mean, well, not a lot, but... We've seen it quite a few times in a number of states about prohibition on, for work on Sundays. Uh, section 53-1-40 does not apply to the following. The sale of food needs, ice, or soft drinks. The sale of tobacco and related products. The operation of radio or television stations, nor the printing publication and distribution of newspapers or weekly magazines nor to the sale of newspapers books and magazines all right so this is just a lot of stuff that you can sell but well we only go down to 16 so and the last one is light bulbs or fluorescent tubes any farming operations is necessary 15 the sale of or rental of swimming, fishing, and boating equipment. Number 14. Sounds like weekend stuff that you would do, but... So apparently, the above law, what they're speaking of, is that... Uh, there's a lot... Apparently, you're not allowed to perform work on Sundays or something, but... Where you're not allowed to sell certain things on Sunday. Whereas light bulbs, I guess is okay this seems a, like everything about this law just seems stupid so it's odd how it was wrote but it still qualifies in my book for uh, a completely dumb law every adult male must bring a rifle to church on Sunday in order to ward off Indian attacks I guess at one time you know, and this is still like a baby nation, I guess, if you will. Not get into that. Anyway, so, no work may be done on Sunday. Look at that. No work may be done on Sunday. So, perhaps the third law should have been above the first law. It is a capital offense to inadvertently kill someone while attempting suicide. You have so much there to go. I mean, how do you kill someone in the process of committing suicide? Now, I mean, there is ways. Absolutely. Like, you know, if you decide to crash your car off into the other side of traffic, I could see that. However, the extreme stupidity of that is it's a capital offense. Musical instruments may not be sold on Sunday. We're going to have a whole bunch of Sunday laws, I feel like, in this episode. A person must be 18 years old to play a pinball machine. Oh, uh, 60s, 70s, maybe. I'd say that's from. But they were considered, or you know what, that might even be as far back as from the 20s. I don't know what I'm on. Playing pinball machines is unlawful for a minor under the age of 18 to play a pinball. Okay. Thank you for elaborating on that. So I'm going to say the reason why, because it was uh, considered a form of gambling at one time. It's a game, 
I mean, we all, I don't know, if you haven't played a pinball machine, well, I guess that's kind of a rare thing nowadays, unfortunately. I played them. I played them when I was a kid. They were fun. Used to have Performing one. a U-turn within a thousand feet of an intersection is illegal. That's just over three football fields. That's a far distance off from an intersection. That's pretty fun. It is considered an offense to get a tattoo. Okay, clearly that cannot be a law that's enforced in modern times, let alone, I mean, I I would be really, really shocked to think that that's even on the books because, you know, telling people in South Carolina aren't getting tattoos, I doubt it. It is illegal to display a Confederate flag on a courthouse. Next law, horses may not be kept in bathtubs. Bathtubs. Horses may not be kept in bathtubs. Really? Mules, donkeys, now horses. I want to see a cow before long. Or a zebra. There you go, a zebra. We're getting all the horse-like creatures in there. I mean... Who... And, and this isn't just one state. This is like our third state with this law or a variation of this law. Why are people putting these big animals in bathtubs? I mean, not just be may not be kept in bathtubs. Does that happen? Is that occurring? <laughs> Did that occur at one time? We're going to go like, hey, we've got a bathtub. Now i got a place to put my horse. That makes no sense. None. By law, if a man promises to marry an unmarried woman, the marriage must take place. Or what? More about this law. Seduction under promise of marriage. A male over the age of 16 years who, by means of deception and promise of marriage, seduces an unmarried woman in the state is guilty of a misdemeanor and, upon conviction, must be fined at the discretion of the court or in prison not more than one year. One year! There must not there must not be a conviction under this section on the uncorroborated testimony of the woman upon whom the seduction is charged, and no conviction if at the tri if at trial it is proved that the woman was at the time of the alleged offense lewd and unchastened. If the defendant in any action brought under this section contracts marriage with the woman either before or after this conviction, further proceedings of this section are stayed. Okay, so, if you say, apparently that was a thing at one time, say, hey, we're going to get married, let's, let's just go ahead and have some fun now. And then turn around and be like, you know what, I don't want to get married now. Apparently, you can be fined or up to no more. Well, it said no more than a year, but, you know, it's also at the discretion of the court, man. And that can be biased in a heartbeat. Uh, easy. You know, oh, you just happen to know, or someone that the judge knows knows you, or someone in the courtroom working with the judge knows you, and they don't like you. I'm not even saying that you're a bad person. They just don't like you. Put them in year. Put them in jail for a year. I mean, it, it, you shouldn't be lying and leading people on like that, absolutely. But holy hell, I don't think a year in jail quite merits that offense. Let's keep moving. It is legal to sell any alcoholic beverage on Sunday unless you own a private club at another Sunday law hall. Railroad companies may be held liable in some instances for scaring horses. I guess if you blow your horn right by a horse purposely to make it, to spook it, but I don't know. The whistle. A permit must be obtained to fire a missile. What? Well, you know we're reading this one. A permit must be obtained to fire a missile. Title 23, Law Enforcement and Public Safety. 
Section 2333-33-10, Missile, defined, a missile as contemplated by this chapter shall be defined as the object or substance hurled through the air by the use of a gunpowder or any other explosive substance, whether purchased by the individual or compounded for chemicals. Permit required for firing missile before any person shall fire or attempt to fire or discharge any missile within the borders of the state. He shall first pro procure a written permit from the Aeronautics Division of the Department of Commerce on such form as it may prescribe. You know, the, we're not even done with that much more. It sounded like you can fire a missile if you have a permit. <laughs> Exemptions for from application of chapter. The provisions of this chapter shall not apply to the firing or discharge of missiles by any agency of the federal or state government. Two small firearms or two fireworks now authorized by law. So now it's saying this law doesn't even apply to federal or state penalties any person violating the provisions of this chapter shall upon conviction be deemed guilty of a misdemeanor and be fined not more than one hundred dollars or be in prison in prison for not more than 30 days or both in the discretion of the court you can fire a missile and get 30 days in jail and maybe a hundred dollar fine. But if you tell a woman that you're going to have, that you're going to marry her after you sleep with her, you can go to jail up to a year. What the f mm. All right. Carrying on. A railroad may not remove itself from a town of more than 500 people. I'm going to definitely say that even if it's not an old law, I mean, you got 500 people there. I don't know. Someone might want to use the train. Now, I'm sure that was an older time. Before, so many people had cars and buses and planes. and There was so much more means of transportation. Taxis. You know, but back then it was probably relating to a time when horses were the other means of transportation. If you were fancy and you had a lot of money, you might have a carriage, a wagon strapped to that horse. So, maybe. It is illegal to give or receive oral sex in South Carolina. Just across the board. Make it simple. I, I like it. It's simple. Just across the board. No one. Keep it out your mouth. Keep it out your mouth. <laughs> All right. Fortune tellers are required to obtain a special permit from the state. Yeah. Yeah. That's another common one we see through the states. Psychics, fortune tellers, you know, uh, gypsies, if you will. Well, I don't know if gypsies is a bad one. Or but they were always like, you know, the gypsies, they'd be t fortune tellers to the crystal ball in the wagon, travel around. I'm pretty sure that's how it went. At least that's how it goes in the video games, in the movies. And they don't lie. When approaching a four-way or blind intersection in a non-horse-driven vehicle, you must stop a hundred feet from the intersection and discharge a firearm into the air to warn horse traffic. You hear that, South Carolina? If you're driving a non-horse vehicle, you gotta stop 100 feet before each section and discharge a firearm into the air. That's, that's really stupid. That's really incredibly fucking stupid. I mean, that's just dumb. Dance halls may not operate on Sundays. Is that like our fifth Sunday law, I think? It is perfectly legal to beat your wife on the courthouse steps on Sundays. So something you can do on Sunday. Hey! Everything's closed. You can't go nowhere. You can't do anything. 
but you can beat your wife. Okay, moving on to city laws in South Carolina. City laws or county laws. Sometimes they like to slip counties in there and they don't put the county name next to the law, the, the town or city that they claim. So just know city or county. First law for Charleston, South Carolina the fire department may blow up your house. What? The fire department may blow up your house. I would love to read more about that law. <laughs> it is against the law. I mean, there is nothing there. So. Otherwise, I would. It is against the law to drive a motorized vehicle on King Street. That's an old law. I mean, it's... Obviously, when, you know, the Model T was out. Clemson, South Carolina. Clemson. Lifeguards must be present at apartment complex pools, but only after 11 p.m. What? An apartment complex pool at 11 p.m. and after has to have someone sitting out there. Watching the pool. Sexually orientated businesses may not open for business on Sundays. There's our sixth Sunday law. Vicious dogs may not be kept within the city limits. That's... That's dumb. That's, that doesn't make sense. Bitches in heat... <laughs> They're talking about the female dog. <laughs> Bitches in heat shall be confined. <laughs> that fountain inn. The fountain inn. It sounds like, what? Horses are to wear pants at all times. Now that just sounds... And it's not even a town or a county. It's an inn. A yeah, fountain inn. Horses are to wear pants at all times. That's... Stupid. That doesn't even. I, it doesn't make me laugh. If that's what it was like, oh, then we're gonna make a law here or rule. Because if you're an inn, I don't see how you're making fucking laws. But whatever. Greenville, South Carolina. The drinking age on Furman University campus is 60 years old. The drinking age on Furman University campus is 60 years old. So you got to be 60 years or older to drink. Hilton Head, South Carolina. Carriages may not be driven on sidewalks. About the same as driving a car down the sidewalk. Wouldn't want to do it. You know, you're going to run so long. One commits a nuisance if he or she leaves a large amount of trash in their own vehicle. Huh. How do you commit a nuisance? I mean, I'm not saying, you know, it's, I mean, you do what you want. It's your car. You can do what you want. But now, this apparently here, they're telling you how much trash you can. So, you know what? Throw your fucking trash out of the window. So, there does not become a lot of trash. Oh, but wait, there's going to be a law against that. Of course, it's called fucking littering. And they'll get you for that, too. That is stupid. Because, yeah, sometimes I'll acquire some trash in the passenger seat of my car because that's where I throw it. You know, if I if I go somewhere, get some food, eat, when I'm done with the wrappers, bags, whatever, I'll toss them in the passenger seat of my floorboard. Once in a while, the wrappers may, you know, there might be a couple bags down there. But, what's the fucking matter? I mean, would it be better if I was chucking them out the window? Instead, my car is fucking clean, but the road is filthy. Lancaster County. It is illegal to dance in public in Lancaster. It's illegal to dance in public. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. It is illegal to urinate in the waters of any park. I'm assuming that means if you're swimming... Yeah, if you, you're just standing off by the lake and pissing into the lake or a pond or whatever. It's kind of a jerk of thing to do. I mean, you're belligerently being an asshole. 
However, if you're swimming, I mean, who's checking? The water just got warmer. We, we've got a thermal camera here. Water is trailing warmer behind that guy. No one may sleep. Oh, I'm sorry. Person, I'm going to skip one. Persons may not change clothes in a gas station without permission of the owner. What if you're in the bathroom? What if you go to the bathroom? Close the stall. No one may sleep on a bench. On the bench. No one may sleep on the beach at night. On the beach. I don't know. I'm not a beach enthusiast, so... I don't care one way or the other, personally. However, I guess it does sound kind of stupid. I guess someone wants to sleep on the beach. Let them sleep on the beach. I'm sure there's plenty of things that'll make them regret it in the morning. So... Dogs may not be on the beach during the summer months. During the daytime... Or the owner may be arrested. So during the summer, if you take your dog to the beach with you, you can be arrested? Stupid. Spartanburg, South Carolina. Our final law for South Carolina. Eating watermelons in the Magnolia, Magnolia Street Cemetery is forbidden. Because of the watermelon seeds? That's what I, I was... I'm thinking, why? But I guess if you're spitting seeds out everywhere, maybe they don't want a watermelon patch growing through the cemetery? I, maybe that could destroy the tear of the tombstones, I assume? Or, I don't know. <laughs> Who's doing it so much? Who's constantly going to the fucking cemetery eating, their, eating watermelon? Oh my gosh. So our wrap-up ana analysis, if you will, for this law is, holy crap, the Southeast. What is going on out there? You guys <laughs> have some laws. You can beat your wife on the courthouse steps on Sunday, but you can't do much else on Sunday. You can go to jail if you walk your dog on a beach at Myrtle Beach, but yet again, you can beat your wife on the courthouse steps. Uh, if you tell a girl that you can receive up to a year in jail, if you tell a girl that you're going to marry her just to sleep with her. However, you only receive up to a 30-day, you can receive up to 30 days in jail if you fire a missile without a permit, without a permit. You just... It doesn't seem balanced properly. I don't know. Is it just me? Uh, there's just countless dumb laws. And I mean, they were almost all really dumb. No. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it kind of showed you. I learned some new things about South Carolina. I don't know about you, but hope you enjoyed the show. See you next time.